I'm Dan Sheehy, I'm co-curator of the Las Americas, Un Mundo Musical, the Americas uh, musical world. And I'm here with Dr. Olivia Cadaval. I'm co-curator with my esteemed colleague here. Uh, it goes back to about 2001 when we had the idea of uh, doing a recording series that featured the best performers in grassroots Latin music. And now at this point we have about 30 recordings in this series that we call Traiciones Traditions. And the idea just kind of came out of conversation to translate this recording series into a festival program. And we realized there is no way that you're going to talk about Musica Latina in a one-year program, so that it evolved and began to be a collaboration with the different communities and the different music groups that were recorded. When you go into the Afro-Puerto Rican community, you go into the Mexican-American community in California, you go into the Tejano community in Texas, and you quickly realize if you get involved in the musical life that music is much more than music. Music has, has a role in society that is much more than just having a good time or, or being a great artist. Music is a way of bringing people together. Music is a way of projecting uh, one's identity. We have this stage which we call La Peña. And you know, La Peña is a traditional event that takes place in a coffee house, it takes place in a restaurant. Peñas come you know, from a tradition in South America of our artists coming together to really dialogue, dialogue with their instrumentation and explore with each other what are the tributaries that they share and where is that distinctiveness in their music. There's also the opportunity for addressing the meaning of their music to their life. One of the earliest uh, recordings uh, of the series uh, was from Colombia. It was uh, Musica Llanera. Uh, from the eastern plains of Colombia, a cultural region that overlaps into Venezuela, where there's a kind of music called Joropo, which is very important in this year's festival program. Uh, one of the musicians is, uh, is a man I've known for many years. He's, uh, he came to the United States from El Salvador during the Civil War, where 75,000 people were lost their lives. And it was a tough time uh, when you hear Trinidad Lobo tell the story of coming to the United States. But one of the great moments in his life in the United States was when for a greater sense of family, for a greater sense of togetherness, a greater sense of community, he and his brothers decided to resurrect their, their musical group called the Chanchona. You know, a lot of traditional musics are very compartmentalized when it comes to gender. You know, there's music that women do and music that men do. But in this world of globalization, in this world of uh, of uh, professionalization of traditional music. Women have seen an opportunity and they, they've taken it. In the Dominican Republic, there's a, a second generation of women lead singers and accordionists, and we're really pleased to have, both as part of the recording series and here at the festival, uh, a woman known as La India Canela. Music is, a, is, a, is a, an intense form of of communication, it's a heightened form of communication. And our hope is, is that by putting this powerful form of communication out there, it'll act as an invitation to people who might not know very much about Latino cultures. And wherever there's interview, there's give and take between audiences and musicians, learning more about what drives musicians, what drives people, what, in, 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 in essence, what gives music meaning and what is that meaning. Todos están invitados, por favor vengan a vernos, vengan para ser parte del festival del Smithsonian, Smithsonian Folklife Festival. Vengan a bailar, vengan a comer, vengan a gozar, vengan a, a, a comulgar con, con, con mucha gente latina de todas culturas y, y mucha música de todos países y bueno, ahí nos vamos a divertir bastante, así que todos están invitados. Y, o sea, ahí nos esperamos. <risa>